Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Lightstorm here. Welcome back to Solo Leveling. So we're back here again in the selection draw. This time we're talking about the weapons. Now this video will be very quick. Um, this is more so what I recommend the most with dupes in mind as well. So first things first, let's get the elephant out of the room. So the demonic plum sword, even at zero dupes, already gives you a lot of crit damage for free and then if you use a dash and then you use the skill you even get a free eight seconds buff for um attack and crit rate as well as increasing the casting speed of the skill itself and then with dupes um the first dupe as you can see when the user sheaths right after using plum flower applies the amplifying draw increase the chance of user landing a crit on the next attack by 30 percent so as you can see with one dupe already very effective the next elephant in the room is thetis grimoire so it's already very nice for the big aoe and able to freeze the enemies and deals an additional damage equal to 10 percent of the damage taken during the duration so more free damage the first dupe is insane Increases weakness damage taken by 24%. So, um, preferably, you would use this with the weapon that is advantageous against the enemy to get that 24% damage boost. Now, I guess recommended mentions. Um, you have the Demon King's Longsword. It's a counter. It's a counter weapon, so you might not like it, but it does stun, right? And then Storm of White Flames as well at the same time after countering, which uh, gives you an attack buff and then creates a lightning that deals damage every second. And then for dupes, uh, it's not really as beneficial as the other ones, like the first dupe in that case. We're all, we're all talking about first dupe because getting multiple, that's like a pipe dream to be honest. Next up, we have the Shadow Scythe. This is free. It takes up a lot of HP, but you kind of want to be below 70% anyway to get free crit rate increase, 25%. Outside of that, um, it can be a double-edged sword. Um, it might cause you to fail certain missions when it comes to missions related to HP. Second to last, but not the least, we have the, the Huntsman. This one's pretty decent, to be honest. Um... Even though it's a gun, the gameplay wants you to be in close range. Because as you can see here, basic core attack and the skill has 50% increased damage when you're hitting targets within 4 meters. And then when you use a judgment, when you use the skill, your core attack becomes ready. And then when you use the core attack, um, the core attack changes from like a big, like a single big shot to a to an attack that is similar to if you play league of legends it's similar to misfortune's ultimate but um it lost it's it lost for a shorter duration which is nice otherwise uh, you're not going to be able to get all the hits and then lastly we have vulcan's rage so this weapon is fine the only issue is just like it's just a defensive weapon right um, when you use the skill, you get a shield and also applies concentration effect. When the concentration effect uh, duration is gone or it's removed, Vulcan's Blessing explodes and deals damage equal to 300% of the user attack, stacking up to 30 times. And then when it explodes, it deals another additional 6% per instance of concentration. And then when Vulcan's Blessing explodes, it removes all the concentration effects. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. So you just, after using the skill, you basically try and spam as many basic attacks as possible. And then you just deal a big damage right at the end. But you know, it's cool, but you know, there's no break effect. There's no break damage in here. I think the gun has a bit of break damage. Yeah, look, as you can see there, break light damage. 
Yeah, that's pretty much about it for the weapons. Um, overall, if I had to order these weapons, these two would probably tie it first. Um, second place, uh, yeah, tied first, and then in third place, hmm, probably the Huntsman and Shadow Scythe. So I guess tied third place. Uh oh, exposed. In any case, uh, and then we have Demon King's Longsword, and then probably last place, Vulcan's Rage. I do have the weapon, but. I cannot deny that it's um I don't know what to say. It's, it's, it is a slow weapon, right? It is a slow weapon. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. I got exposed at the end, you got me. Um but if you got any questions about the weapons, do let me know that in the comments below. It's been your boy Night Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.